Hi Scorpio, it's Nicola with your intuitive reading for March 19th through the 25th. If you guys have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you guys would like instant access to me, you can download Instant Go on your app store. This is for my iPhone iOS users. If you don't do it that way, you can go to www.instantgo.com slash intimate wisdom. Look for me guys. Um, other than that, if you guys would like to book a longer read through me, or you would like to book a longer phone read through me, you can do that on my website, www.intimatewisdom.net. And if you guys would like to to buy a video it is in the shop section of my website all right so let's get started with this reading this will be y'all excuse the way i look it's sunday i'm cooking and i'm cleaning i'm doing what mommies do it happens okay so i can't be glammed out all the time i would like to be but i can't be glammed out all the time all right so let's see what we got for my scorpios march 25th through i mean march 19th through the 25th what messages do we have for scorpio march 19th through the 25th Scorpio, March 19th through the 25th. All right, Scorpio. Ooh, some of you guys are dealing with some type of heartache. Maybe you've taken on too much that you can then you can bear right now. With the <clears throat> with the Queen of Cups is. <laughs> I was trying to prevent it, but it didn't happen. With the Queen of Cups, this does talk about you needing to open your energy. You needing to make more time for yourself. This does talk about making sensible decisions. No, 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 no. It does talk about making time for those around you. But I kind of think this is maybe you needing to open yourself to ask for some type of assistance with something. Some of you guys are needing to ask for assistance. You're expecting the worst. And maybe you're expecting that people won't help you. Are you expecting? This could be for some of you guys. Either you've been working extra, extra, extra hard due to some finances. You've been trying to start something. Maybe this is some heartache due to something that you've lost. But the Ace of Pentacles talks about something new starting. This talks about an abundance coming through. With the Two of Pentacles underneath, either a lot of you guys are juggling and you're waiting for something new to come in. But this does represent change as well. So some of you guys could be waiting for a change. And it could be coming. Let's put those up. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? Messages for Scorpio. March 19th through the 25th. Scorpio. All right, we got the devil card here with the king of cups. Some of you guys could be opening up your energy to a Capricorn. This could be dealing with a love situation. Maybe you're feeling very, 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 very frisky, okay? Because we got the king of cups here. So this does talk about opening your energy with the devil card. This could represent lust when we're talking about love. The queen of wands, this is definitely passion. So some of you guys are very, in a very passionate situation right now. Doesn't necessarily have to be love situation. Doesn't ever have to necessarily have to be romantic, but there's something very passionate in your life right now. Something that it may be invoking some feelings of you kind of spreading your wings and manifesting something new in your life the magician card this is all about manifestation under whatever commitments that you have made this could be you being spiritually guided with the six of cups a lot of you guys are dealing with soulmate twin flame energy maybe even a baby okay this could also be you dealing with someone telling the truth about a situation being totally honest and it may not be what you want to hear the king of swords here this does talk about someone taking control of a situation being an authority figure in the situation this could also this could also be about minding your your thoughts okay so some of you guys may be obsessing about something that you have no control over so make sure that you're minding your um your thoughts and keeping it keeping them in check what are the messages we have for scorpio I need to keep my words and check out my I'm stumbling over words. <laughs> Messages for Scorpio, March 19th through the 25th. Scorpio, March 19th through the 25th. All right. We got the sun card. So this does represent finding out the truth. And I'm saying that it does represent happy outcome, happy out, a happy times, happy outcome. You know, like the sun shining on your life. But in this situation, this represents finding clarity about a situation. This represents, um, we're like solid truth, finding the truth. Because we got the seven of swords here. So this does represent someone being deceptive. Maybe a Libra that you're dealing with that's being deceptive. If not, this is you finding clarity. Do not be deceptive. Do not come back and, and try to be petty with this situation understand that everything will even out the way that it should whatever has went wrong will be righted so make sure that you're doing right scorpio okay this five of wands this represents you going back and forth leave this situation alone don't be arguing with nobody with the knight of of wands this represents time being of the essence you 
you needed to really pay particular attention to this situation and really consider your actions before acting out. Now, a lot of these cards with the Knight of Wands and the Tempers and the Five of Wands, this does talk about someone snapping the fuck out, okay? Make sure this is not you. Make sure that you're minding your, your mind, you're minding your words, minding your temper, okay? Because you're going to be working towards something better. Do not risk whatever um, situation it is over a minor hiccup. What other messages do we have for mm, Scorpio? What other messages do we have for Scorpio? March 19th the 25th, Scorpio. March 19th the 25th. We got the Empress card with the Six of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be starting a new job, a new career opportunities here. This could be an even and out of some finances, you starting a budget for a lot of you guys. This could be you starting to kind of help or, or aid someone in some type of assistance. With the Strength card, this is you having the courage to do this, you having the courage to move forward. This could be dealing with the Leo. Some of you guys are daydreaming, thinking about starting something, thinking about doing something with the Empress card. Go ahead and do it. There is victory within this situation. Underlying energy is the nine of pentacles. Whatever it is, you're going to have to do it on your own, okay? All right, don't give up. Keep pushing. What messages do we have for Scorpio? March 19th through the 25th. What messages for Scorpio? We got to pay attention to the red flag. Someone is definitely being deceptive. They're playing with your emotions, playing with your passions. It could be someone that you're sexually involved with. The Queen of Cups is talking about making time for those around you, okay? Making time... The devil card, okay, we got the devil card that popped out twice in this. So this, some of you guys may be dealing with a Capricorn, but this talks about karmic relationships, unhealthy attachments. This also talks about lust. So some of you guys are giving yourself sexually to a person that does not um, respect you, does not want to be with you, okay? Let's see. We got the nine of wands and the seven of uh, pentacles in reverse. So some of you guys are needing to leave the situation alone. You're worrying unnecessarily about someone that is not interested in you. With the nine of wands, this is you needing to have courage to really, um, not have courage, but this is you needing to um, make a move, like move forward from this situation, have more confidence in yourself in this situation now, because I'm kind of thinking you guys know and you're allowing it to happen. We got past life relationship. It says that you have known each other before. This person may be married, or this may be how you have known each other before. In a past life, you guys may have been married. Why is past life relationship here? We got the king of wands in reverse. So this represents someone being very unfaithful. Someone playing around with your passions, playing around with your emotions. With the Libra card, this represents an even and out of a situation. The sun card, this could be clarity in a situation. With the star card in reverse, this represents you not doing or not honoring the commitments that you were meant to honor. So some of you guys could definitely be cheating in a relationship, not being honest. Um, could be cheating with someone from the past. The lover's card, this is having to choose between two lovers. Some of you guys, this is a past life relationship. And maybe now it's kind of, you're completing that cycle with this person. So that Libra card could definitely represent a cycle that's being complete. Mm. The lover's card, okay, we got the nine of cups and the eight of pentacles. So this does represent working on a relationship. Some of you guys, if you're married, you're working on your relationship. But someone has been not so honest and not been doing the right thing we got retreat so it's time for you to disconnect we got wedding again some of you guys if this is a relationship or, or marriage or a commitment to someone it's time for you to disconnect from the world so you guys can spend some time together because someone's being childish and petty and they're making this um love situation be turned upside down like the emotional needs aren't being met now because there's a lot of arguments a lot of um going back and forth Got that. When you got that Ten of Cups in reverse, it does represent someone hurting about uh, a love or family situation. With the Ace of Swords, this does represent challenging information. This represents um, a new start as far as like thoughts, what thoughts wise, creativity wise. But this can also represent for some of you guys a pregnancy. So if you're definitely um, if you're having sex, you know, maybe pray. Let's see what messages we got for my Scorpio. What messages do we have for Scorpio? March 19th through the 25th. Mm. We got receptivity. It says, allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. We got sensitivity. So while you're opening yourself up, make sure that you're purifying yourself first and foremost because we got purification. So this does tell me that there is some energy that you need to clear out of your body and your mind and out of your aura. For receptivity, once you clear out of your, once you clear out your energy, 
open yourself up to receive but make sure that you are being that you're protecting yourself you gotta say a protection spell over you whatever you gotta say do it this says you're becoming increasingly sensitive avoid harsh relationship environment situations and chemicals we also got boundaries so this is about loving yourself enough to tell people no i saw earlier on you guys are taking on a lot make sure you're delegating some responsibilities not to putting too much on your shoulders and learning to tell them no that's all i got scorpio so until next time y'all have a good